enjoyed my um, hair evolution from shower to this. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, the reason I started off with such a colorful opening was because I am going to do the hair tag. Now, I don't love my hair um, as much as the other ladies that have been doing the hair tag have, like, awesome, gorgeous hair. And, um, yeah, my hair is, it's okay. <laughs> but I still, you know, I just kind of felt like doing a video and the hair tag sounded fun. So, here is my hair tag video. So, question number one. When was the first time you got your hair cut? I have no clue. I don't remember the first time that I got my hair cut. Um, I'm assuming it was when I was really, really, really little. So, I'm sorry, bad question for me. Um, the first time I can remember getting my hair cut was probably middle school. I have a very terrible memory. <laughs> um, yeah, so the first time I remember ever getting my hair cut was middle school. And I kind of wanted my hair to like right here, and my mom was doing it, and she just kept going, no, it's not straight, no, it's not straight. And by the time she was done, it was much higher than I had wanted. Sorry, it's really cold in here. Um, number two, when was the first time you got your hair colored or highlighted? Uh, I think it was high school, maybe like 10th grade. Um, I wanted like light brown hair. And so I went to this place called Bubbles, um, and the guy, oh my gosh, he was so rough with my hair. I'm, I'm really tender-headed. I cannot take people, like, messing with my hair or, or uh, brushing my hair or anything like that. Like, it hurts so bad. And he was not being gentle. Um, but, uh, yeah, that color I got just looked horrible on me. It was like a goldeny, orangey, blondy color and um it's just a big old mess it was not for me number three hair product you cannot live without now i'm assuming that you mean like a liquidy product um if you're just talking about like anything like a styling tool or anything like that i'd probably say a curling iron um because i use my curling iron to straighten my hair and i think it does a pretty good job um i have ordered a like actual straightener um but uh, I just ordered it online today so it should be coming soon um but uh as for like liquidy stuff I only use three things in my hair I just shampoo my hair with Tresemme I don't use conditioner I know that's bad but I kind of ran out a while back and I should never ended up buying more um but uh this is what I put in my hair um when I first get out of the shower like I towel dry it and then I put this it's John Frieda's Frizzy's Straight Fixation Smoothing Cream. And it doesn't have a very heavy smell. And I know a lot of people like that, but I actually really like things that have smells. Like, I love my hair to, like, have a nice smell to it. And this just really doesn't have that strong of a smell. So I was a little disappointed. <laughs> um, the next thing I put in my hair um, is this Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protection. It's Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. So I just kind of spray this all over um, before I straighten my hair um, and before I blow dry it. A lot of times I don't blow dry my hair, I just let it air dry. Um, but if I do blow dry it, you know, I do this before I blow dry. Um, but I definitely do it before I straighten my hair because you got to protect your hair. And um, these two things together, you know, make it like really silky soft. If I don't use them, if I just straighten my hair without any product in my hair, my hair feels like straw and it's it's just it doesn't feel nice to touch um and like it's already poofing up before i'm even done straightening it so and then the last thing i use is this herbal essence tussle me softly flexible style hairspray um and i love the smell of this it smells so good but i love the smell of all herbal essence stuff and um this hairspray is just to keep your style but it leaves your hair really soft like it doesn't make your hair hard but uh, those are my three products I guess I cannot live without. I love those. Number four, hair product you regret buying. Mm, maybe um, the Paul Mitchell, I don't know what it is, it's in this like really tall bottle and it was supposed to like help smooth your hair. Um, it worked, but... I mean, it didn't work awesome. It didn't work as good as Frizzies. No way. Nothing works as good as Frizzies for me. But um, it, it worked enough. 
and but the smell was horrible it smelled so bad uh number five what color do you want to dye your hair next i would love to do you know the first time didn't come out so good but i would really love like a like a honey color like jessica alba has here i'll try to insert a picture yeah i would love that color um or like some kind of variation of a highlight in that color or something or like a red this was the color red highlight that I did no not that bright sorry no not that bright um, I don't know maybe or maybe even like a violet or a purple highlight or something crazy number seven next product you really want to buy I want to try the fruit tea sleek and shine um like cream or something that you put in your hair and it's got argan oil in it it's this new product well I think it's new because it was on a YouTube like commercial before I played one of the videos recently and it looked pretty good and I've heard a lot of good things about argan oil so I intend on buying that next um, when we go grocery shopping I'm going to pick that up what is a hyped up product that never worked for you um well straighteners like flat irons have never worked for me. I, I just bought one today. It's a PYT flat iron and I'm really hoping that it works because so far I've bought a um, Conair one. That didn't work at all. <laughs> that worked horribly. And I bought, uh, I don't know what the second one. I don't think it was a Chi. I don't know what it was. But I bought a second one and I only kept it for a day. I returned it the same day. Um, but yeah, so far I have not had any luck with flat irons. Um, so far my curling irons have always done a good job of straightening my hair. What do you think about extensions? I think they are cool. I would love to try extensions one day. Um, it's not something I would ever like want to spend money on though. So the only way I'd ever do it is like, if for some strange reason I could try it for free. But yeah, I think they're cool. I don't know. I think they're fun. One or number ten. One hair care rule you never follow. Um, you're not supposed to use a paddle brush in your hair. You're supposed to use a um, wide toothed comb. But I use a wide toothed comb if I want to comb my hair in the shower or when I first get out of the shower. But like to when I'm straightening my hair, like I'm taking little chunks like this, and then I take my paddle brush and I brush it through, and then I use the curling iron to smooth it down. And you're not supposed to use the paddle brush because it breaks your hair. And I have a ton of split ends. I mean, I don't know if you can see all of these, <laughs> but yeah, bad, bad for your hair. But I do it anyways. Um. Number 11, do you use vitamins to improve the health of your hair? Well, I don't know if there's any vitamins or anything in these things, but if not, then no, I don't. Um, I do take prenatal vitamins. I don't know if that counts. If Number 12, if so, have they worked for you? Um, when I was taking prenatals, when I was pregnant with Ian, I, I guess so, because my hair grew so long, so thick, so shiny, healthy. It was, it was awesome. I love my pregnancy hair. And last question is number three. Who is your hair idol? My hair idol is Ingrid. Um, she's got two YouTube channels. One is The Grid Monster, and the second one is Miss Glamorazzi. I will post the links to both of her um, YouTube channels below. She's like one of my new favorite YouTubers. Like I'm obsessed with her videos lately. Um, I never really watch Gla or Glamour. Um, beauty YouTube channels because I just I don't know I'm not good at it <laughs> I, just, I wish I was but I'm not good at it and so it just makes me feel bad when I watch some beauty channels but I love um, Ingrid's channels like I just love them like I, she's just I think it's just her personality and she's so bubbly and happy and and she's so pretty that I just I don't know I just love watching her videos so um and she's actually the one who recommended this, and which is why I went and bought it, and I'm so glad I did because I love it. Um, so yeah. Uh, she is my hair idol. She's got really, really pretty hair. I wish I had her hair. Um, but anyway, so that's the hair tag. Um, if you would like to do it, then I tag you. And uh, yeah, okay, bye.